Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be tackling my dining room. So my homeschool corner has been a mess for a while and I have just been craving some clutter-free spaces and some open spaces in this room, in my dining room. And so today we are gonna tackle it. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll be starting our homeschool year in another month or so and so I'm kind of getting my wheels turning about thinking about how I want to use this space. I've mentioned before that I've been on the lookout for some kind of a hutch or cabinet with closed doors over here and I just haven't been able to find the right one. So for now I'm just taking down the shelf because a lot of the things in here we don't use or some of the things that we do use I could condense and put in a different area so that's what I'm doing I'm just going through everything here and kind of putting away things that we're not using on a regular basis things that we've never used and I'm just gonna donate those things and then other items we're just gonna put in a different space I'd love to hear if you are a homeschool mom as well are you starting to get things ready for the school year I'm sure you are probably thinking about curriculum and just how you want the school year to go. It's always kind of fun to start thinking about how we want to do things differently for the upcoming school year. But anyways, so I'm just gonna go through all these things and then we will move on to the next step. My son loves helping me with these projects, especially when we rearrange furniture. That is just kind of his jam. So he was helping me out in this area and then giving me some ideas about how we could rearrange. And I really appreciated his help. condensed our craft supplies to just the ones that work and the ones that we use on a regular basis I feel like craft supplies can get out of hand really fast so I just took some glass jars and put them in here in the this basket and I'm gonna store this over on this little table that I have in our dining room and before in the drawers of this table I just had some random junk and some DVDs which I ended up moving and I'm going to use this kind of as a supply area for some of the things that we use on a regular basis for homeschool and then underneath of it I'll put a basket with some of our like school books that we will that we're using right now and then that we will use in the school year so this is what's going to work for us for the summer but then when the school year comes, we'll see. I'll probably change things up at least a little bit, but at least it's decluttered for now.
The next thing I wanted to do was repot some of my plants. This plant, I believe it's a pothos. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. I have struggled with it. It is starting to do a little better. I noticed that it loves the sun, but I think it's been struggling in this basket that it's been in and has needed a bigger space. When I pulled this out, it was definitely root bound, so it definitely needed a bigger pot to be in. So I changed it into this pot. And then I also have a couple of stems that I'm trying to propagate and there aren't any roots that have grown, but it has created a couple of new stems. So I don't know if I can plant that or if I need to keep waiting for the stems. It's been about a month, but we'll see what happens with that. And then I decided to transfer this ivy from this pot into my little terracotta pot. I thought that that would look so pretty just with the green contrast and the orange terracotta. And I actually love how it ended up turning out. I ended up putting it on that little side table. I can't wait to show you. It just looks so good. I love um, how it all ended up looking. So I'm just going to transfer that and then show you how I decorated with this pot. This cake stand was my grandmother's and my then my mom had it and she actually gave it to me a few months before she passed away. So that's a really special just item to have in my home. But I put that in the center for some height and then put the ivy on top and I just love how this little space turned out. This plant loves sunlight, so I thought it would be a good spot right next to my desk over here, something I can look at when I'm working. And I decided to move my desk over here because that door doesn't open anyways right there, and that way I can look outside when my kids are playing and still get some work done. So here is the before, and then I will show you the after. It's amazing what decluttering and just rearranging your space can do to change a whole look of a space and just make it feel fresh and clean. So in my next video, I wanna share with you some quick, simple ways that you can decorate on a budget. And this is gonna be a couple of the tips, just rearranging and decluttering. But I'm gonna share even more tips about how to decorate on a budget in my next video. So be sure to be subscribed so that you don't miss out on that. Of course, I love hearing from you. So if you wanna leave a comment below, Go ahead and do that. You are welcome, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.